I just washed my hair. It has zero styling products in it, but I'm going to do some heatless curls. Heatless curls never work for me, it seems like. However, I have found at least something that can work for me a little bit. <laughs> We're going to do some classic robe curls, but slightly different way. And the key here is going to be a serum for just a little bit of moisture, but also hold. I'm telling you, my heatless curls never last otherwise, but with this... My hair is going to be going up in a ponytail. I'm going to put the ponytail pretty far forward on my head. Now I have two different strands I'm gonna work with. Brushes that make my hair too frizzy and fluffy, so I have to use a wide tooth comb. So I'm going to dampen it, but when I say a little, I very much mean a little, otherwise my hair will not dry. Now here is the key player in this, using a serum. Time for the robe. So I'm going to split these in two, and I'm wrapping them in opposite directions. The tighter you want the curl, the tighter and kind of like closer together, higher up, you're going to wrap these. I like them kind of tight, otherwise if I do them too loose, they do not last whatsoever and they are more like waves instead of curls whenever I take them out. But if you want a nice loose beachy wave, then kind of just wrap these very loosely and wrap them far apart. I find that I get the least amount of wonky ends if I just use a clip to secure it. Ta-da! This is a great look. I leave the clips in overnight and I'm going to wrap this around itself to make a nice little bun. I tie it in the front and... I'm ready for bed. Good morning. All right, we're going to take this thing off. See how it goes. When I do this, I'm just trying to be very gentle and careful whenever I unwrap these. I'm not trying to separate the curls just yet, otherwise that'll make it really tangly. And again, just being really gentle. This is how we're looking. Very bouncy. <laughs> Man. So the nice thing about this is that you always have to break up heatless curls, but whenever it's in a ponytail like this, it kind of does the work for you. You'll see what I mean. So right now it's kind of a little bit tight and very uniform, but I'm going to separate it a little bit with my fingers and fluff it up. It's I cannot use a brush or a comb at this point for whatever reason. My hair just gets way too frizzy and fluffy. It just looks awful, but I'm just going to fluff it with my fingers. So it's looking good. There's a few little fuzzy pieces. So I'm going to take a styling cream. This is by Trelux. Just gonna get a little bit. Take this and smooth it over top. I can also go back in with the Reflex Serum if I need to. This is much more watery, so it has, it can reshape any of the wonky pieces a lot better. This calms things down a lot and makes it a lot smoother and shinier. So I could definitely just leave it like this, but I'm going to style it just a little bit and put it half back.
And there we go. I had some very easy heatless curls overnight. These are my day two results. It is loosened up quite a bit, but it has some very nice wavy curls in there. And I'm telling you, with other methods of heatless curls, they just do not stay. I mean, they absolutely frizz out. They're crazy. But this has actually worked for me. Really the only way for me to get a loose curl is to have it really tight on the first day and then it will kind of loosen up afterwards. Otherwise, it just falls completely straight <laughs> almost by the second day. But this really works for me. So I hope this was helpful.